everyone welcome to IELTS Energy TV today I'm going to give you some super fun vocabulary for talking about birthdays um, first of all I would like to tell you that I have been working with IELTS professionally for over 10 years I have been instructing students and helping them to get the scores they need so if you have any IELTS questions, post them below this video and also come to my YouTube live event, January 23rd. Sign up at allearsenglish.com forward slash idioms. You look below this video, guys, I'll put the link there. Okay, so why are we talking about birthdays today? Because my birthday is coming up. <laughs> I'm inspired. My birthday is January 16th. If you know, you wanna say happy birthday to me. Um, I'm gonna be 39, super exciting, almost 40. Okay, so why do you need birthday vocabulary for IELTS? Well, in speaking part one, here are some questions you may be asked. What do people do on their birthdays in your country? What do children do on their birthdays in your country? What gifts do you give people on their birthdays in your country? How important are birthdays as we grow older? So. Definitely could see this in speaking part one, you guys. In speaking part two, maybe you have to describe your favorite birthday you've ever had. In speaking part three, it could be like the importance of growing older and marking the passage of time. So yes, guys, birthdays do come up on IELTS speaking. So let's get to some vocab, guys. Now, keep in mind that the way we celebrate birthdays is quite culturally specific sometimes. So my vocab today is according to my experience. So you may have to reflect on this and try to come up with a parallel experience in your country and explain it in English, okay? That's, you're gonna comment on that after you watch today. Okay, so the first phrase is to live it up. This is a great idiom for just to, just to celebrate a lot have a very vibrant celebration. It could be a big party, right? To live it up. So um, adults uh, that I know really like to live it up on their birthdays. In fact, um, my friend who last had a birthday, she like booked a night at a hotel in town, went to a concert in the hotel, stayed up all night, she really lived it up. Okay, next, goodie bags. So um, in America, when kids have birthday parties, the parent has to prepare goodie bags for all the kids. These are little bags filled with random stuff like toys and candy. So the parent has to like give these little presents to all the kids. So goodie bags. I would love to know if you do this in your country. Um, next, theme birthdays or theme parties. So again, for children's parties, they're often theme parties here in America. Girls still like Frozen for some reason, which, God, enough of Frozen. But um, James always has like a superhero themed party, like Spider-Man or Batman or something. Um, so that if, if it's a themed party, then the cake will have the characters on it. You'll have decorations with the characters all over the place. So that's a big deal here. And adults sometimes have theme parties too, right? Super fun. Okay, next go all out. This is kind of similar to the first idiom. To go all out is to give your full effort and energy to something. So if we're talking in terms of parties and celebrations, like you'd really go all out for an important birthday. Like, like my 40th birthday. When I turn 40, I'm gonna go all out. I'm gonna like have an event with like a band and you know, like activities and catering with food. And I don't know if I'll do all that, but maybe I should. So go all out. Again, just have a super big, huge party. Okay. Last one, guys. <laughs> Think about specific activities that happen in your culture at birthday parties. So here, for example, a classic birthday game is pin the tail on the donkey. You have like a picture of a donkey and then kids are blindfolded and turned around and they have a tail with like a, a pin on it, kind of dangerous, and they have to like find the donkey and like try to pin the tail on it. It's Fun. Another activity we do is scavenger hunts. Um, look it up if you don't know what that is. <laughs> They're super fun. 
So think about the activities, the types of games that children play at birthdays in your country. Write about them in English. Use comment, guys. Use the comment option below this video and answer some of my questions today about birthdays in your country. And finally, remember, if you want to talk to me and ask me questions, come to our YouTube live event January 23rd. I'm going to talk about vocabulary for speaking part three and writing task two. Sign up at allearsenglish.com forward slash idioms. That way you will get two idioms immediately that you can use in any speaking part one. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching and I hope you're having a great start to your year. All right, everyone. Bye. Bonus tip, get a seven or higher with the All Ears English app featuring exclusive bonus video lessons with Jessica, Lindsay, and Michelle. Get the app now at allearsenglish.com forward slash app.